Hey guys, welcome back to follow up video of Orion OS for Redmi Note 8. This time we are using 15.1 based on Android 15. So I have been using this ROM few days now and it is working good actually. So as you can see here, Android 15 Orion OS version is 15.1 and the secret departure level is 5th of February 2025. And today I got a new update of this ROM actually. But I did not install that, maybe later on I will review that too. So in terms of UI, it is pretty much similar to all other Android 15 based ROM. And in terms of customization, you can go to molecular section and you can tweak themes and everything. And if you go to miscellaneous section, we are getting component spoofing, we are getting play integrative fix. But there is no safety net support for this ROM, so you can't use bank application here. So no safety net and no Google Play Protect certification. Google Photos Unlimited Storage is available and higher FPS in game does work so you can turn it on to see higher FPS in your game but I don't really think it's going to improve any gaming performance just for sure. In terms of UI smoothness actually it is pretty smooth I haven't faced any kind of issue or lag in terms of UI. In terms of mobile network, Wi-Fi and hotspot I have faced issue with Wi-Fi so right now I'm not connected to any kind of Wi-Fi so if I try to connect to Wi-Fi sometimes it takes time to connect to Wi-Fi so as you can see here it is not connected here let's see how long it takes if it doesn't connect then I have to go here and like push here then it will connect to the Wi-Fi now it is trying so I still it is now it is trying to connect to Wi-Fi so there is issue with Wi-Fi and sometimes you will find that the Wi-Fi is not connecting so this is the issue but other things like Bluetooth VoLT, Bo Wi-Fi, all those things working perfectly fine. Sound and vibration, I have no issue with that. Everything is working. Display, so we are getting as usual all the settings here and double tap to awake and double tap to sleep working. So last time someone said to test this thing but usually they works perfectly fine. So all these things working and wallpaper and style section. It is a little bit weird because the AI wallpaper usually we find it here but on this ROM you will find it's here live wallpaper so AI wallpaper and emoji wallpaper both of them works so if we try here it did and we can try with something else create wallpaper so the wallpaper is generated but it took around one minute so quite slow in terms of generating wallpaper but works perfectly fine as you can see here set as wallpaper set the wallpaper section is not working after applying the AI wallpaper let's close the setting app and try again and even the AI wallpaper is not applied as you can see here. So there is something going on with the ROM. So wallpaper and style directly not working. Although the UI is still smooth, but wallpaper and style not working and the wallpaper is not here. So there are a few issues here and there. Storage, as you can see how much available. I did install few application here. In terms of battery, battery is doing pretty well. I haven't faced any kind of battery drain issue on this ROM and we are also getting few other features related to battery like charging control, automatic schedule, custom schedule or limit charging. These things are available, nothing else. And this ROM also doesn't support any kind of fast charging. So that issue is still here. In the system setting, we do have few options here. As I said, there is a new update available for this ROM. So let me show you system updates. And as you can see here, 15.1 still but I don't really know maybe it is coming with a new security patch or anything like that as you can see released in February 18 so that is there maybe I will try that later on show me parts option is also available if you want to calibrate your display setting in terms of security and privacy both fingerprint and face unlock work perfectly fine no issue with that so let me show you so as you can see here so both of them work perfectly fine and as if Android 15 based ROM, we do have private space. If you want that, you can turn it on. And there is nothing else. So overall, UI is still smooth. But as I said, wallpaper and style, as you can see here, not working for some reason. After applying AI wallpaper, actually. And in terms of application, we are not getting a lot, actually. We do have Xiaomi camera, ANS camera application, as you can see here. It is working. So as you can see, it's pretty fast, I would say. So works really well. 
but uh, there is issue with gcam compatibility so i did install few gcam here some of them crashed and one of them is working this one is working like if i take picture it will take picture like this for some reason but the video is working perfectly fine you can record video but for photos i'm having some issue like this i did try few other gcam application here but they didn't work properly so these issues are here in terms of photos as i said unlimited storage is available so if i show you that so as you can see unlimited storage is available but magic editor doesn't work so if i try this one it did and if i try magic editor it will crash like other roms so if i try now as you can see magic editor is not working on this rom and if we check google play protect certification so it is not here on this rom i did try to fix the issue but it didn't fix so the issue is available here too and in terms of Vue LTE and Vue Wi-Fi both of them working perfectly fine as you can see here I did make a phone call and also record the call so recording is also working so as you can see here so recording is also working and Vue LTE, Vue Wi-Fi both of them works in terms of other feature we do have circle to search it works slower side but works perfectly fine no issue with that so working And few other things like Dolby Atmos option is there and that's all what we are getting actually. In terms of gaming, the gaming performance is really really good. So if you are looking for a gaming ROM, this can be one actually. If you don't really care about like safety net feature and a few bugs here and there. But gaming performance is actually good. I did play Call of Duty here. It worked really well. You can check the whole gameplay in the end of the video. So you can decide if you want to use this ROM or not. So that's all about this ROM. There is nothing much actually. Everything seems to be there uh, the ui is pretty smooth although as you can see here we are facing few issues with wallpaper and style section it's still not working and the rom link will be in the description below if you want to try this rom thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one
sight. Shock RC is coming. 